guys are all doing absolutely marvelous today. Uh, I'm really excited to bring you this look, mostly because I'm going to be teaching you how to use this really new product from Lorac. Lorac? I think it's Lorac. Um, it's called the 3D Liquid Luster, and it's a little dropper, so you get these little drops of this beautiful glitter. And um, it looks like this on the eye. It's kind of a gold and silver glitter, and it's beautiful. It is like the easiest way of applying glitter ever. So if you'd like to learn how to get this look, then please continue watching. Alright, so I'm going to start out by priming my lid with just some of the original Urban Decay Primer Potion. Alright, and then next, I'm going to take this 24-7 Urban Decay Pencil and the color Whiskey. And I need to sharpen mine, but I'm too lazy. And this came with my Urban Decay Naked palette, so if you have that, you should have this. And you're just going to want to kind of make all of this brown on this like outer corner. And you're going to take your finger and blend it out. We just want there to be a good, nice brown base. this. I'm now going to take another base and this is by NYX and it's um, called Cottage Cheese and it's kind of like the Dix Jumbo Pencil but with shimmer. So I'm going to put this under my brow. I'm going to say it's like the NYX Milk Pencil, sorry. Alright, so now I'm going to apply um, some vanilla pigment, Focus. Yeah. and then I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush, I'm going to tap the excess off, and then I'm going to fill in my highlight. I'm going to bring it up a little bit into here. So once you have it kind of like this, I am now going to take, um, this is by, this is a brush by Sonia Kashuk, it's just a very dense blending brush, and I'm going to take the color Soft Brown, which I probably don't even need to show you guys, but it looks like this, this one right here, and I'm going to put it right here and blend it into that vanilla. This will add some nice warmth to the look. like that just a little warmed up into that vanilla have to make sure it's well blended I'm gonna take my 239 brush again and I'm now gonna use this dark side that I've already used and all right so next I'm gonna be taking the color smut which is the second over right here and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with showstopper so I'm gonna mix these two right here these two in the front That'll just make a really nice dark gray brown color. Blend it well into that vanilla. Bring it into the crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just gonna blend that a little better. And then I'm gonna dip my 217 brush into this MAC Pro blush called Shadowy, and it's my contour blush, but I really like to use it in the crease of my lid, and I'm going to put that right here, kind of swirling motions, and then blend it into that soft brown. Alright, so once your eye is pretty much looking like this, I'm going to take that whiskey pencil again, I'm going to bring it under my eye, and I'm going to bring it about two-thirds of the way in. Basically till it meets that vanilla pigment. So kind of like that. And I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush, and I'm going to dip that into that shadowy um, blush. I'm going to put that all over. 
And then I'm going to take a bit of um, soft brown and I'm going to soften it in here. And then on the outer corner, I'm going to take that smut and showstopper. And I'm, that, the color I put on my lid, I'm going to place right outside here. Alrighty, so now I'm going to um, put a little bit of black eyeliner on. And this is, I'm just using the other end of that Urban Decay p pencil. And this is in the color Zero. So I'm just going to put that right along here. I'm going to smudge that out a bit with my 219 brush. This is just going to make my lashes look a bit fuller. I'm not really trying to get a really defined liner. Just I just want to make my eyelashes look a little fuller. Don't forget, you're going to want to put a little bit, I think you're going to want to put some in your waterline. And over that, I'm going to put some of that shadowy on my 209 brush and place it in here just so that it doesn't come off throughout the day. Alright, and now it's time for the fun part. So I left off on this eye exactly in the same place so I could do this at the same time. And what I'm using are the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster Drops. These are really cool. So you want to shake it up really, really, really well because you don't want to... You want to make sure you, you get a good consistency coming out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dropper out, make sure you have some stuff in the dropper, and I'm going to put literally one drop on the back of my hand. That's all you need. Now, I'm just going to use my fingers, but you can absolutely use a brush, and I'm just going to dip my finger in it, and I'm going to go ahead and place it on my lid. And you do kind of want to work fast because it does tend to dry fairly quickly. And you're just going to put this all over the lid and bring it up into the crease a little bit. So... You should have something kind of like this. I think the lighting is making it look weird, but in real life it looks very even and pretty. So now I'm going to do the other side. Bring it up into the crease a little bit. Alrighty, so now you should have these really cool um, glittery eyes, and they don't look super crazy in real life. It's just my lighting is like, ah, like on it. So I guess in the sunlight, yeah, it looks a little crazy, but it's totally just so beautiful. Look at the shimmers in it. Oh, they're so gorgeous. And then if you don't want some of this glitter up here, just take your two and seven brush and kind of go like this. It will kind of mute out any extra glitter you got up there by accident, maybe. I want it a little bit up there, so I don't mind it. And then now you're just going to want to um, put your mascara on. And I'm using the Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. Alrighty, so I'm going to go put my face makeup on and fill in my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I just need to um, do my lipstick and my lip gloss, and the two I chose were very simple. I chose Max Flesh Pot, which is a pro color, but you can get a regular one, which is Myth. Now, I do like Flesh Pot a little more because it's a little less um, like orangey brown. It's more on the pink side, so I like that a little more. They're almost identical though, like they're almost the same thing. So now that you have this on your lips, very muted out, I'm just gonna take Max um, Underage Lip Glass, which is just a really pretty, youthful, uh, light pink color. Alright, and 
and that's it that's the finished look i hope you really enjoyed this i hope you learned something about these really cool uh 3d luster drops i think they're really neat and interesting and very easy to use so yeah um please keep in touch and i'll see you guys next time bye